All right, Adam Hughes here. Today, we're going to take a look at five essential things you need to know about SOLIDWORKS. First one, number one, dynamic reference visualization. You can right click at the topmost part of your feature tree and then turn on these two buttons. Simply mouse over a feature for longer than a second and you can see the parent child relationships between that feature. Function two, the freeze bar is this little yellow bar at the top of your, top of your feature tree. You can mouse this below features to lock them in place and keep them from being inadvertently changed or del deleted on accident. Lock symbol shows when the feature when the freeze bar is, is moved below the feature. You can turn this on by hitting the cog icon, searching for freeze, then clicking enable freeze bar. It shows you the highlight and you can check that box on. Option number two, the space bar. Space bar button enables this view palette mode. And with this button depressed in also gives you the view cube. The view cube allows you to rotate the model and then select a particular view and you see a preview of it in the upper right hand corner. Option four, in assemblies and parts, you can hide multi-body parts on multi-component assemblies, assemblies, obviously, by striking the tab key. Simply mouse your cursor over a body, strike the tab key, and that body's hidden. We can see the body's hidden over here in our feature tree. We turn it back on, mouse, or make it, make it visible again. Mouse over that body, hit shift tab, and that part will be shown. Last but not least, the eyeball. This eyeball up here allows us to hide everything globally, right? Sketches, relations, equations, etc. If this eyeball is depressed inward, note that all of these will be grayed out. To select, hide, or show on individual icons, depress the eyeball so that it's shown again, and then hit the drop down next to it. Now you can hide each one independently. Cool. That's my five quick tips for SolidWorks today. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something new. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.